Three days in, and the Amgen Tour of California in its 10th year, for the 10th time, found the city of San Jose for a ride of 105 miles or 170 kilometers. After two stage win in as many days, Mark Cavendish was in the leader's yellow jersey. Yes, uh, on two days in second position as well, uh, Peter Sagan wearing number 41, waiting for what was going to be a very interesting stage for the mountain top finish. The riders were heading now for a rendezvous with Mount Hamilton, which stands at 4,000 feet, and one man in a hurry to get there was the Latvian rider Tom Schoons, who was now in the lead on his own. He'd been part of a seven-man breakaway that formed a very early on after a rapid start to the stage. They built themselves an advantage of five minutes at one stage, but uh, Squeens certainly was extremely powerful. The first man to take up the chase behind him was Daniel Oss, who was in the breakaway on yesterday's stage. The breakaway had gone away very, very early, and once cleared to fly, the Latvian rider was now clear of the field. The breakaway was imploding behind, but it was Daniel Oss who was sweeping up. He was trying to keep his lead in the Lexus King of the Mountains. But watch this rider on his way down. On the descent, a very, very tricky descent, which caught many of the riders unawares and led to some rather exciting moments. Jonathan Clark of Australia and United Healthcare, he took the easy road out to avoid falling quite a long way, but he quickly got back up to Daniel Loss between the two of them chasing the leader. While there was a few problems for Peter Sagan in the Green Points leader's jersey, but he was always refining his place in the peloton. Heading up to the final big climb of the day, uh, Sagan got back in, but uh, the leader, Skoons, was also having his moments with problems on the descent, but he still held on to a two and a half minute advantage over Oss. And over the peloton, it was stretching to over four and a quarter minutes as Jonathan Clark took the easy road out yet again, once more losing contact on the descent with Daniel Oss. But again, he would chase him down. But this man was taking some catching now, and a peloton of around 30 strong were taking his breakaway very seriously. But had they left it too late? Through the outskirts of San Jose, he still held on to a three and a half minutes advantage. Jonathan Clark got picked up by the main field, just leaving two riders in front with Daniel Oss, the last man to survive, with leaving now just Tom Tom's Schoons ahead of the race. Mark Renshaw in front of Mark Cavendish, but they are a long way back and destined to finish over 20 minutes behind on this day. The group up front, led by the British champion Peter Kenyuk, was trying to close down the race. They knew now, though, they weren't going to catch this big surprise in the Hincapie Racing Team. He was going to win the day, even though he was tiring towards the end of the climb up Metcalf Road. But would his win be big enough to give him the yellow jersey as well? When he hits the line, he needed just 34 seconds advantage. He started the final climb of the day with a good two and a half minutes lead over everyone else, uh, but for him he wasn't too concerned about that. It was getting the stage victory and holding on to as much time as possible. But some get big guns in the main group behind started to fire, just nailing down upon him. The biggest win of the 23-year-old's career, and he's won a few big races in 2013, he won the Peace Race in 2014, Canada's top race, the Tour of Bose, the sprint for second place taken by Peter Sagan. The third day in a row this rider has finished in second place, but this time he was rid of Mark Cavendish and was consolidating second overall, because the race lead surely now was on the shoulders of Tom Scoogins. It's the riders uh, coming up, uh, some of the big sprinters losing massive time as they get up to the top of the climb, but a new name to conjure up, 23 years of age from Latvia, Tom Scoogins. There was a moment when he seemed to be running away with this event when he had a lead of five minutes, but they reduced it to leave so this race Yana still Lafayette a very open race as we go into the remaining days, taking us down to Pasadena on Sunday. And, and with snow forecast by Friday, this race face could certainly change. All of the leaders' jerseys here because Scoogins had a brilliant day, shaking his head in disbelief. Not just the race leader, but also the leader in the King of the Mountains. Julia Alaphilippe winning the white jersey on the left, the best young rider. Mark Cavendish keeping his lead in the points competition. And Daniel Loss voted the most aggressive rider of the day. So overall, after three days, Tom Scoogins leads this race by just 32 seconds from Peter Sagan. 43 from Rob Britton of Canada and Team Smart Stop. Julian Alaphilippe won the big favourites, now into fourth place. Other men doing well. The defending champion, Robert Guessing, is now in seventh. Lawson Craddock, third last year, is now ninth. The top ten, completed by Jay McCarty.